Tonight, some new questions are being raised about the jurors in the O.J. Simpson case after the Nevada Supreme Court ruled juror questionnaires in that trial should be made public. Reporter Jonathan McCall spent the day looking through those questionnaires. He's here now with what he's found. Jonathan. And Gary, these questionnaires have been a huge sticking point throughout this entire trial proceeding. This is actually a copy from one of the jury members seated in the trial in which O.J. Simpson was convicted of armed robbery and kidnapping last year. Simpson's attorney, Yale Galanter, says the answers simply show why Simpson did not get a fair trial. On Thursday, the Nevada Supreme Court ruled that juror questionnaires in the O.J. Simpson case be made public. But Simpson's defense attorney, Yale Galanter, says some of those jurors who convicted Simpson of armed robbery and kidnapping back in 2008 should have never been part of the trial. People would say they had preconceived notions about O.J. Simpson, and then they, you know, weren't kicked off the jury. And they should have been. The 26-page, 116-question report asked potential jurors everything from their employment, hobbies, criminal history, and even their knowledge of Simpson, including question 94, which asked potential jurors if they agreed with the verdict in Simpson's 1994 murder trial in which he was acquitted. According to the questionnaires, three seated jurors said they did not agree with the verdict. One juror said, quote, prosecution made key mistakes. Another juror wrote, quote, think he did it, but wasn't there to hear the case. And a third juror said, quote, disagreed with verdict, saying police and prosecution made errors. Yo Galanter says the decision is a key victory in Simpson's fight for an appeal. Historically, jury, what your jury selection process is one of the keys to getting a fair and impartial jury. And obviously, you know, O.J. Simpson came into the courtroom with a lot of baggage. We thought we should have been given a lot more leeway in the jury selection process. Now today, News Now left several messages with Clark County Judge Jackie Glass, who made the ruling to keep those questionnaires private. We also tried to reach the district attorney's office for comment, but so far, our calls have not been returned. Jonathan McCall, 8 News Now. Jonathan, thank you.